Hi, my name is Oki. I'm Paul. And I'm Hannah. And, and we, we are three students, students from this international, international school. school. It's time to rethink rice. One fifth of the world's population depend on rice cultivation for their livelihood. That's why we decided to bring out the meaning which sustainable rice production and consumption has, seeing the current challenges, a source of food which, per capita, makes up 19% of caloric intake, is facing at the moment. We hope to raise awareness among the general public to inform and educate on the value of rice. More specifically, U.S. consumers should know about the sustainability challenges in rice and essentially how sustainable rice can make a difference to farmers and our environment. Our aim is to use this video to educate consumers on the importance of sustainability in the rice sector. Why does it matter to us? And why should we choose to not only consume but also value sustainable means of rice production? We are here to give you the answers. The main benefits of sustainable rice can be broken down into three main sectors. The environmental, the social, and the economic aspects. We decided to interview some farmers from the Angtong province to get their input, being that they are primarily involved in the production of rice on a daily basis. The market fluctuation is very unpredictable, which means that I won't always be able to sell my rice for the amount I want to. It isn't cheap to grow either. That's why sustainability is also important. The first problem regards climate change. So now some years has a lot of flooding, heavy storm and serious droughts. So this affects the field, the rice field, so you cannot predict some time and it's lower than expected. It's important because in the future, like four or five years, if I grow rice without sustainable rice standard, then I won't be able to sell rice anymore because using chemicals is not accepted by the society, by the government, and that's why I think that sustainability is important for rice production. In a world that is growing as rapid as ours, in areas of agricultural industries, we want to push efficient use of resources, tackle climate change resilience and rice production, contribute to food safety, and all of that can be done through sustainable means of producing rice. You might wonder how exactly. Well, taken from an ecological perspective, almost a quarter of the water currently used in the production could have been saved. In addition to reducing half of greenhouse gas emissions. Not only that, the sustainable rice even benefits social sectors such as accounting for workers' health and safety through the reduction of excessive use of pesticides as well as providing opportunity for farmers to not have to rely on child labor due to fairer prices, consequently increasing opportunity to attend school. Lastly, looking at it from an economic point of view, is sustainable rice strives for social development, such as women's empowerment, as by increasing women's access to knowledge, sustainable rice is also expected to lead to higher levels of productivity and profitability. In addition to increasing productivity, it increases national and international food security due to the reduction of pesticide use as well as leading to a 10% increase in farmers' income. The Sustainable Rice Platform, for instance, is the world's first voluntary sustainable standard for rice, which is a big step towards sustainable agriculture. Its main goal being to promote efficiency and sustainability in the global rice sector through an alliance that links research, production, policy making, trade and consumption. We visited Kunlara in the rice department to get expertise, insight and answers on sustainable rice. Uh, as uh, rice, yeah, in, in terms of uh, Thailand, rice is stable food. So Thai people eat rice with three meals a day and every meal they need to have a rice for their consumption. Rice is life for Thai people. We eat rice today. In the future, our children need to eat rice as well. So it means that we need to maintain uh, rice production. Point of view and also market need to, to have a mechanism of inclusive the private sector or to create market for this kind of product. We see what value sustainability brings to the rice industry and perhaps it has enhanced to you why farmers and consumers would both benefit from implementation. But us, 
our expert Kun Lada has highlighted, the standard cannot be implemented by producers alone. For consumption, to take responsibility as well, not just put every uh, response or responsibility to farmer. And we all here are consumer. And how if we would like to to have a, a product which produced from a good system or sustainable point of view that you said. Over the course of this incredible journey, from researching every single grain of information about rice and its meaning within society, to researching what means that we can use to make rice more sustainable, we have come to conclude that instead of seeing it as a single event, rice is a chain of interconnected sectors that we all play a role in. Continuing to support unsustainable means of rice production, not only are we harming the environment and producers, we are ultimately harming ourselves. Our message is simple. The world eats rice. The world will continue to eat rice. Therefore, it is our responsibility to make sure that rice is sustainable.